Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about brain death with the HQ challenge number 40. So you may experience a few questions on your TMC or clinical simulation that has to do with this. So we'll talk about it briefly today. I have a video on my YouTube channel, Respiratory HQ, that discusses apnea testing and its role in diagnosing brain death. And then I also have a very inexpensive mini course on my website that kind of flushes the concept of brain death out, how to, how to diagnose it, how to look at inclusion and exclusion criteria if you want to know just a little bit more content. But today, we're gonna talk about the conditions that must be ruled out prior to diagnosing brain death, okay? So before you can do any testing, before you can do any type of diagnosis for brain death, you have to rule a few things out because there are things that can mimic brain death and we need to make sure that that patient doesn't have those type of conditions going on. So number one, the patient needs to be normothermic, okay? They need to have a body temperature of at least 36 degrees Celsius, which is about 97 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so that means we need to rule out hypothermia, okay? We have to rule out hypothermia. And so what we're doing here is seeing which ones we have to rule out and then the exception, the one we don't. So hypothermia has to be ruled out. Another thing that has to be ruled out is metabolic disturbances. And what I'm talking about here is on an ABG, there cannot be any metabolic imbalances. Okay, rule that out. We also have to rule out pharmacologic paralysis. Okay, the patient's paralyzed. They're not going to breathe for us during apnea testing. So any par uh, paralyzing agents or deep sedatives are gonna have to be excluded from this. So when we're answering this question, all of them must be ruled out, hypothermia, metabolic disturbances, and pharmacologic paralysis. And the exception is a normal blood pressure, okay? We want the patient also to have a blood pressure of at least 100 millimeters of mercury systolic or a mean blood pressure of 60 millimeters of mercury when we start, okay? So I hope this helps. Check out my YouTube channel for a little bit of a lecture on apnea testing. See you soon.